story you'll only see on Fox. An effort to get the Navy to accept chaplains who do not believe in God. As you can imagine, that initiative has created quite a bit of controversy. Tonight, the first reaction from the Defense Department to the idea and real effort to hire atheist chaplains. Here's Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel. It's just total nonsense, uh, the idea of having a chaplain who is an atheist. It sounds like a contradiction in terms, but for the first time ever, a group of atheists and humanists are pushing the military to have chaplains who share their belief that God does not exist. What science tells us about the afterlife is that there is none when you die. You're dead. The obvious question is why an atheist would need a chaplain, even an atheist one, when there are counselors of all kinds. If that's what they're wanting, then they need to come at it differently instead of just saying, we want an atheist chaplain. But those supporting the change say there's an important difference between chaplains and others such as psychologists and psychiatrists. First of all, uh, in the military, seeing a medical profession or counselor sometimes has some stigma attached to it. And might affect advancement, he says. Collins, a chaplain in the Air Force Reserve, says while on active Active duty, he served everyone, including atheists. So many times people in our world today just need someone to listen. They just need someone to care. And if that, I can't be anything but that, then I fulfilled a role that I think is very valuable. But Torby says it's not that chaplains don't help atheists, it's that they don't reach out to them. They don't provide that positive outreach and support and facilitating of services that they do for all of those beliefs that aren't their own. Getting atheist chaplains approved, though, faces an obstacle. You can't just show up at the recruiter's office and say, I want to be a chaplain. You have to have uh, an endorsing faith. Such as the Methodist or Catholic Church, for instance. But Torpy says the Humanist Association is already recognized as a religious group by the IRS, and that should suffice. But those who oppose the notion suspect some politics are at play. This is pushing an agenda that is uh, really trying although over, not overtly, but I think subversively, is trying to undermine the chaplain's role in the military. One atheist applicant has already applied, and if he's rejected, Torpy suggests problems ahead. If that's the case, then I think the chaplaincy is really going to be in trouble with uh, a church-state conflict. And today, the Navy tells Fox that the Defense Department does not recognize the humanists as a legitimate group to endorse chaplains. So the first try goes nowhere. But more battles to come for sure. Brett. We'll follow it, Jim. Thank you. you bet.